JDI gadgets. This video, we're going to talk about this deluxe seeker mode. The mode is M16 XSD. So I have been using this mouse for almost three months. Um, so we're gonna, I'm going to share with you my using experience with this mouse and also some little complaints. So let's get started with the design. The design wise first is the, the main craft is uh, improved a lot compared to the previous M16 DB. Like the gaps between materials and the material itself, the texture makes me feel comfortable. Um, I like it very much, especially like uh, during summer. I feel this mouse is finally usable. Uh, like for, for myself, like my hand is a little bit easy to get sweating. Okay, next one is the, the mouse actually has a little screen on top, like this area. Maybe you can see it. Um, it's white color. It can show the DPI value and also the connecting mode, like um, 2.4G or Bluetooth, and also shows the battery uh, value. Um, and this area, it has a, it has a colorful light, seven, seven colors, I guess. So um, once your mouse is on like this, the color will turn off to save the battery. And once you uh, move away your hand, the color will show up. But it's a weird design, you know. When you're using mouse, you're always like this. You're holding the mouse, so you can never see the light. And when you move your hands, you're actually going away, right? So you cannot see this light anyway, unless you intentionally want to see the lights like this. Put it like here. Okay, like this. You can see. So anyway, it's a it's a weird design for me. The other thing is that um, this they uh, it has a you know exchangeable cap on the back, so you can pull it off. You can change it with with this one. But I never use the, this one a single time. So why? Because it's it's gonna make the mouse heavier. This one it has holes. It's much lighter. And when you put it on. It's easy or it's uh, more friendly to my sweating hands. Okay, the next one will be this wrist. Um, I feel it's useless. It looks nice, right? Um, like this has support to your uh, wrist. But the thing is that when you have this thing on, you feel uh, weird and uh, I don't feel comfortable to move it around. So I never used it a single time. It's just for video purpose, so go away. What else? It has um, you know, USB uh, transmitter hole. So when you travel or you want to take it with you, sometimes it's easy and you won't lose your USB transmitter, which is great. Weight-wise, is one twenty-nine gram. Actually, it's quite heavy for a mouse. It's even a little bit heavier, one gram heavier than Logitech MX Vertical. So yeah, anyway. So the next one will be the function. The function wise, let's talk about DPI first. Uh, by default, it has five sets of DPI you can uh, choose and you can set the value in the driver, the software. So and uh, each step, you can add 100 for the DPI. Like you can set one, like, like uh, this, uh, for the step one, you set like 100 and step two, you, you can set like 200 or 300 or 400. So you can add 100 at a time. Um, you can set by default, like step um, sets one or sets two as by default DPI. So every time when you um, turn off and turn on the mouse, it will go to the by default sets of DPI. And when you switch in between different devices, it will always start with the uh, uh, by default DPI setting, which is great because the previous M618 uh, DB, the DPI cannot change. No, it, yeah, you cannot change the by default you, DPI. You cannot change, so every time it goes to like um, sixteen hundred or I don't remember. So it's quite annoying anyway. Um, the other thing is that in the software you can actually set the DPI up to seven thousand two hundred, which is quite crazy, but it's actually unusable. So that means you can you cannot. You, the mouse is like uh, losing control when you set the DPI that high. Um, it's actually getting, you know, it's not follow your hand, let's put it that way. So I never use that. So just use the highest up to 4,000. That's the physical uh, maximum DPI 
uh, support by this mode. Okay. Um, next one will be the um, uh, uh, connection. It can connect to like four devices. Uh, one is uh, by USB cable. The second one will be 2.4G wireless connection and the two Bluetooth 5.0. Um, the official document says one Bluetooth 5.0 and one Bluetooth 4.0, but when I connect to the computer, it both shows Bluetooth 5.0. It's a is a bonus or I don't know. Anyway, next one will be the battery. It building a um, 1000 mAh battery, but uh, you can only use it for two weeks. This this I have to complain. You know, Logitech MX Vertical has a 500 m. AH battery it can use or last for one to two months and uh, the REPO REPO has um, the, 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 the Agnatmic uh, mount I bought it actually has a building 800 uh, MAH battery and it can last I think at least two months so I don't know why I just don't know why maybe because the, the lighter is different I don't know what even I turn off the, the lights here, I can barely use it for more than two months. So, no, uh, not more than two weeks, sorry. And um, the other thing is the Bluetooth. When you're using on the Bluetooth mode, it's you, you can use it, I would say, but uh, I don't feel it follow your hand as uh, quick or as fast as Logitech MX Vertical. So I feel a little bit delayed, but not that much. I can feel it anyway. So the next one will be the software. The software wise is um all sometimes they call it driver or whatever. So it's a third uh 32 bit software. So I feel especially in the very beginning because I use Windows 11 and uh, it's a BT version, so I got a little bit trouble in the beginning. It's uh, often you know has no response or whatever. Um, then they don't after um. Windows, I, I upgraded my Windows 11. It's um the, the, the problem is pretty much gone. So I feel much more um the software is much more stable now. It's it won't die automatically or whatever. Um the other thing is that um um the driver actually updated once. I don't know it's um the driver was upgraded, the, the mouse driver was upgraded in last November, but I was uh, able to uh was able to find it maybe in the past one or two weeks so i don't know why but they upgraded the um, firmware of the mouse and also the software itself and the other thing is that when you using it on the bluetooth mode you cannot connect the mouse to the software you have to use the 2.4 g or while or the usb cable to connect the mouse to the software but the good thing is that when you like um, make some change on the mouse maybe like you change the DPI setting or you change the mouse uh, function actually this device this mouse can memorize it and when you're changing a device or connect to a new device the setting is actually there it doesn't rely on the software so which is quite good like uh, even Logitech MX uh, vertical when you uh, have the we make some settings like you change the DPI or you you customize some buttons function uh, you have to use it with the software so this is a this is good stuff the other thing is the customized option is too little i would say too limited compared to mx vertical logitech so um like i don't have a i don't have an option that allow me to come uh, customize this button the uh, backward button uh, button to like um, um double uh left click so yeah ah you know gladly this this device support marco marco set so what i did is that uh, i record a uh, marco like um left click and uh, i customize the uh the the buttons to uh when i click it it goes to marco the i the marco i set and uh, ask it to repeat it twice so i I use a different to a uh, different way to realize the function I want for the you know uh, double left click, which is funny anyway. Okay. Um. The other things. Um. If you are using Windows 11, you're gonna be fine because Windows 11 has so many um like um uh shortcut, so you can actually 
set up the other uh, button uh, work with the shortcut so this this uh, driver allow you to um, customize the mouse you like control plus w those kind of things which is uh, which makes it now useful for me usable is not useful is uh, uh, usable for me anyway uh, the last thing is that you can actually export the setting um, if you want to use it in a new device and you can actually um, import the settings you have in your previous uh, computer which is nice so the last one will be the summary i feel that the battery first uh, component will be the battery i mean it only lasts two weeks and um, like a logitech is more than one month or sometimes maybe two months um, the next thing is that this this mouse actually is not cheap i mean if you go to amazon you can find the price is just probably like uh, 20 dollars gap between uh mx vertical so it's a quite expensive device actually um and then what you got this um this mouse uh, has the uh, same price level pretty much as logitech mx vertical but uh, the software is not compatible is not even compatible with Wipro, so don't even mention about Logitech. Logitech will launch the Logitech Option Plus, which support supports Windows 11. So I mean, <laughs> so a lot of things to do. But physically, this mouse is quite nice, as I mentioned, the texture and the gaps between the the joint between different uh, uh, surface is quite nice. And next thing is I have a big complaint about this um, uh, horizontal spool. It's useless. Actually, it goes the opposite. It add them uh, make makes it makes the uh, mouse much heavier. Mm. Um, next thing will be this thing. I feel it's useless. Um, not only like um, it's useless, but it also creates problem because when they want to add these um, these uh, wrist um, support. It actually they cut it here, you know. If you can see here, they made a cut here. What's the problem with that? So when you hold the mouse, then you pinky finger will feel support list. When you put it here, it's not comfortable. You know, it's a it's a line here like like this. You you actually the the finger a pinky finger actually is touching this line here. So if they they don't use that stuff and make it um connected with the you know like this naturally it won't have this line here so your mouse will no your pinky finger will feel much comfortable like logitech um, mx vertical okay and um, this mouse is uh it's heavy it's actually quite heavy uh, even heavier than logitech mx vertical i still feel it cannot replace logitech mx vertical or it is not compatible with logitech mx vertical and the price is not cheap and and you use it you don't feel that comfortable um, with the software and um, yeah but i still feel it's a it's a nice mouse can especially compared to the previous m618 db but the price is more than double so i mean um it, it actually i use this um, this mouse and the uh, logitech um, mx vertical half and half because uh, somehow it fit my hand quite nice it's slightly shorter than mx vertical so i feel sometimes i i can still hold it um, nicely so but i think uh deluxe can do some deduction like remove this uh this uh horizontal spool and maybe these lights i don't know maybe they can make another version remove these lights but keep this cap with hole so it's gonna be much better for them for the people like myself with uh sweating hands and they do this some treatment here in this area makes your um thumb comfortable which is nice another thing they can do is like i mentioned they don't need to design something with this this is i i i bet 90 percent of people won't use this so if they don't do this and they can feel the those thing those those like this area that they, they, they don't cut it they don't cut like this right they extend to the bottom and make it uh, joint naturally then it's gonna makes you feel much comfortable so yeah the thing is that um i think can definitely make it um make this mouse better by changing some of those designs um 
the looking is quite nice, especially like um, on top, it, it has this curve, makes you, it's not like sharp, that sharp. I feel actually it's a looking mouse, but they, they might want you to add too much function to this mouse. So actually make it uh, goes to the opposite. And yeah. Anyway, so I hope you like this video. And if you do, I hope you can do whatever you want to do. You can even dislike anywhere I can see it. So um, others cannot see it as well. So yeah, I think that's all for this video. And I'm, I'm keep looking at this because I cannot memorize all of them. And um, yeah, that's it. OK, thank you very much. And I hope. I can see you in my next video. Thank you and bye. One of those things I, I forgot to mention, which is very important, is the cable. The cable is uh, one of the best cable I've ever used um, for a mount because it's so soft. So if you use it as a, a wired mouse, you don't feel like um, any trouble. You don't feel this, actually, this, this thing actually drag your mouse at all. So yeah. The best cable I ever used for a mouse, so that's why I want to sound up for deluxe. So that's all for now. I promise that's all.